Cindy girl here live to you from my vehicle I am not driving just in case you're wondering I drive safely for the most part I'm just kidding <laughs> um, if you guys are joining me live drop a one below and if you are watching the replay drop a two and I will just give it a minute see if anyone hops on um, get your questions ready hey Stephanie and ask me anything you want about myself or keto or anything as long as it's appropriate <laughs> hi Amanda hi grandma so we're just driving back from the great world of Wally world I don't know I bought a fish tank for my daughter she's got a little fish and the water's like really dirty and she's got the tiniest tank in the world so we went and got that and pick up picked up a few random items sorry I'm not trying to be all close hi Rosemary if you guys want to share this out that's totally fine I appreciate it and I'm just gonna just basically ramble on until you guys ask me some questions about myself so I know normally I do a bunch of <laughs> food lives <laughs> so I thought I'd give you guys a chance to get to know me a little better. And if not, that's cool. I'll just keep on rambling until I get home. So I got 10 miles. <laughs> what? I'm, look at Alex is here with us. <laughs> and he's like totally watching me. Hi, Andrea. So, I don't know. Like, most of my life, I've always been bigger heavier girl and um it was probably mostly started when i got a license like i had a car i had a license so i wanted to eat out all the time and <laughs> you need to hire me to cook for you i'm not a chef i just follow pinterest directions <laughs> and dry things so that's yeah basically what i do and so once i got my license like i had a job at arby's and i just freaking ate all the time I ate out all the time McDonald's Arby's Taco Bell all those good things I'm not trying to diss them because their food is good but I gained a lot of weight I am not driving he's driving right there Kristen okay see the steering wheel there he is he's driving I am not driving <laughs> but yeah so I thought I'd use the time to uh, talk to you guys while I was sitting here in the passenger side <laughs> and so yeah I gained weight through high school like even when I was in younger grades like I was always bigger than everyone else I wasn't necessarily like super overweight but I was bigger to everyone else I was never the cool kid or popular kid so like <laughs> she's laughing <laughs> I uh yeah I gained weight with my first jobs and then you know I went through a bad marriage where I had like no um, self-esteem or anything and so I ate my feelings and never talked it out and just gained weight and then like reality hit when I started my job where I'm working now and you got your package awesome I hope you like all those flavors oh thank you Andrea and um, you guys can share this out it's totally fine I don't care who sees or knows about me but um like, I what? Clear my throat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I first started this job that I'm doing now, which I'm a city carrier, I deliver mail, so I'm walking through town and through all weather. I was off today because, thank goodness, because it was snowing like the first snow of the season and it's really cold out. But, anyways, like when I first started, I was overweight and I couldn't keep up with the times because we're timed on everything. And so, my boss, like, yelled at me a few days in. Sorry, boss. I know you're going to watch this. <laughs> um, like, I better pick it up or I'm going to get fired. And I knew at that time that my marriage was failing and that I was going to have to support two kids and I needed to step it up. So, we started running in between houses to catch up the time. And, um, like, the first couple of days, like, I was doing it and then I kept doing it. And now I have... I do so good that I have 
the biggest route and now I'm just like, oh, I wish I would have done that. <laughs> but yeah, back in January this year, like so that was four years ago. So I've been trying different diets since then. I've done pretty much anything you can think of, all those companies out there. Uh, how much have you lost and what is your goal? Um, so I'll get to that. Um, I've done like everything you can think of and so my friend Shelby done keto diet and I had no idea about it besides it was low carb I'm like there's no way I'd ever do that like I like my carbs I still love carbs but <laughs> um, she had lost 30 pounds in three months with no exercise so I was pretty much convinced that since I walk 15 miles a day that I surely could do this diet and lose weight and so I didn't go strict keto right away because I was scared of the keto flu and all these things that could happen and so like I started just with um, low carb dinners and started using Pinterest and marking down everything I wanted to get and started slowly so I didn't like that was maybe back in like November last year so then January is when I actually like okay doing this strict and so I did get the keto flu it was only like one day's worth I was walking on my route and I thought I was gonna die <laughs> like I had no muscle strength at all I felt horrible dizzy sick and everything but the next day I was fine but that's all that I experienced of it but I did I also didn't know about electrolytes so um, the company that I'm with now pretty much taught me about electrolytes and like all these years that I've been walking the route I always had headaches and always felt like crap and I'm like I'm drinking tons of water I'm drinking like eight water bottles at least during work I'm like it's not water it's something else and I learned about electrolytes I'm like this whole mind changed so I never have headaches anymore unless I know that I'm dehydrated so yeah do you guys have any questions you guys are just watching me ramble around how much have I lost? So total from four years ago, I'm down 70 pounds ish. I kind of am going back and forth, but I'm pretty comfortable with where I'm at. I would like to get down, let me think, probably 20 more pounds, but if I don't, it's just like, nah, it's okay. But I am starting to kick it back up. I've been kind of lazy lately, but my boyfriend here he's smiling he's like he wants to do the keto thing with me I think he's gonna do reboot with us and so I'm pretty excited about that so yeah he's helping me and he's like helping me think of keto kitchens for you guys and topics to talk about so yeah you guys have any other questions <laughs> I don't know what else you want to know about me so I used to run all the time I haven't done it much in the last couple months I've thought about doing it, but now my treadmill broke because I ran on it so much that it ripped and tore apart. And now it's snowing and stuff, and I, I really don't want to run in the snow. Like, I feel like I could break my leg. <laughs> so, yeah. That's pretty much my uh, my life story. I, I'll probably do a, another live with you guys and show you pictures. What? <laughs> He's laughing at me. He, um, if you guys are wondering um, where he came from, <laughs> I've actually known him since I was 12 years old. We were high school sweethearts, and now we're back together after 10 years, so isn't that crazy? <laughs> but <laughs> he's laughing. But yeah, it's getting darker out, and we are in my town of Paxton, so you guys don't have any more questions. I'm probably going to hop off here. I just wanted to... Give you a little more info on myself and I'm sure if you search you can find the first live video I ever did on Facebook when I joined this company and it's pretty funny <laughs> like I've, I've seen it a few times um, just randomly and yeah <laughs> so all right well you guys have a good rest of your night and I will see you tomorrow on a live I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I think I'm gonna make some kind of dessert since you guys love desserts. I love desserts. Okay, well you guys have a good rest of your night. Bye.